Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for March 12th through the 18th. These are intended to be love readings. We're going to see what comes up. Please bear with me as I shuffle. I think it's pretty important to shuffle on the camera. It's not about how long it takes, it's about being authentic to me, okay? So just bear with me as we shuffle together. Almost had one. Ooh, growth. This is perfect, isn't it? I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Oh, reality check. Somebody is getting real. Being honest. Somebody is getting down to the real honest truth of a situation. Not going to live in fantasy land another minute. Taking action. Because there's been no growth. There's been no growth. Because this is no growth. There's been no growth. Somebody's been selfish. Smothering. Something has been smothering. And now I think you're cutting something out. Taking action like quickly. I'm not going to stay here in this predicament anymore. You may have been dealing with somebody, or you know, that's the King of Wands. That is uh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Touching a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay, and a Pisces. So, And we have Taurus here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, and Taurus so far. I see that somebody is very well I'm trying to be diplomatic in my words okay but that king of wands reversed isn't a very honorable person okay that person is very unreasonable and conceited big head I mean, that's what it means. So somebody is maybe letting go of their ego because this is a reality check reversed, the moon reversed. It's like somebody is getting real about their expectations, perhaps, because this is unreasonable. So they're getting real about their expectations. That could certainly be the case being honest with themselves because there's been some sort of uh, repression there's been a loss of self here somebody has lost themselves and I think that you're it's you I think you've lost yourself somewhere lost yourself somewhere along the way and you're sick of it I'm sick of it something there's there's like there's no growth there's no growth growth is needed 
this is amazing because there's no growth, no growth right here. There's no growth in, in relationships. There's no growth in love. And that's why you're taking action. Because you're ready. You want love. I want love. I want growth in my relationship. So I'm going to have to take action in regards to some sort of unreasonable, unrealistic views or demands or whatever. There's some kind of being unrealistic where you start to see the reality and you start to accept some kind of truth. Because there's been some sort of secrets that have come out. There's been some kind of revelation. But I think this revelation, whatever it is, it causes you to take action. There's some kind of revelation, revelation that opens your eyes. A secret comes out. Whether somebody gives this person or this person, it's either a fire sign or a, or, or a air sign that spills the beans and they don't even they don't even think about they don't even think about the outcome okay they just f open their mouth and out it comes okay so it feels as though there's some kind of revelation or secret that is revealed that forces you to take action because there's been no growth and you're looking to expand your horizons and to start over and to build a new foundation that's stable and secure so there's some something here that is making you take action. Because it, wherever you were at, there was no growth. Okay? So it's like there was, there was a, some kind of secret. Or, yeah, there's some kind of secret that comes out. It kind of like kicks you in the ass. And forces you to do something about it. Whatever this is. It's like, you know what? All right. You want to mess with me? <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I'm sorry. I mean, that's what it is. That's what it is. Like, you want to mess with me? <laughs> okay. I mean, that's what I see. It's like, all right. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, that's what it is. It's like, you know what? I mean, that's what I see. It's like, hmm. Let's get some clarifiers here. Now, this could be at your job, okay? I know this is a love reading, but it feels, and if these are these really, they, there's a lack of energy here with both of these cards. Somebody isn't putting in effort. Somebody isn't putting in effort, and it's, and it's pissing you off. Maybe it's you. I don't know. It's like, yeah, I think somebody, yeah, going backwards. Somebody's going backwards. Bad luck. Clinging. Somebody's very controlling. Somebody is trying to control. And it's leading to arguments. And it could be an end of a contract, okay? This is the lover's card. Something is happening that forces you to take action. It could be at work. I don't know. It could be in your relationship. There's, this is the end of a contract. It causes a big split. It causes somebody to use their sword and kick somebody in the ass or something or open their mouth and say something, you know, out of line. There could be some harsh words said this week. Just saying. Just saying. There could be. They could come out of your mouth or they could come out of somebody else's because, I mean, this is you. It could be another fire sign, but it could be you. And there could be some kind of battle. Okay, because somebody like wants to fight. Okay, <laughs> I mean, that's what I see. So I'm gonna tell you, I mean, I'm gonna tell you what I see. There could be some words that are said that um, causes a setback. Okay, it causes a setback. Somebody hasn't been pulling their share amount of weight. Okay, in a relationship, whether it's at work or at home or whatever, somebody hasn't been doing their part. Okay, that's what I see. 
and I feel like somebody is about to get a, a foot right up there, you know what. And whether it's you or them, um, something is going to happen. And um, it's going to bring about some sort of growth because it needed to happen. It needed to happen so that growth could happen. All right, so whatever is happening, the Wheel of Fortune is also about purpose. Even though it's reversed, everything happens for a reason. So trust me, this is all happening for a reason. It's like some, and they might play the victim. Whoever you're dealing with might play the victim, so be prepared for that. Okay, They're, they might feel like, <laughs> you know, so just be prepared for that. Anyway, um, it appears that um, you know who this is. Okay, you do know who this is. This could be a sibling, even. You know, it could be a sibling, could be somebody that you've known for a long time. Oh, what the hell is this Six of Cups? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's some sort of, or it could be a boss. It could be a boss, or it could be a father, or it could be the man in your life. Somebody, it could be a man in your life that... is very greedy. I'm not sure what this is. But there's somebody in your life that is uh, causing causing imbalance. Okay, they're causing imbalance. They're causing uproar. I mean, it just looks like they're, you're dealing with somebody who is very manipulative and controlling and bossy and thinks they know it all and isn't putting in a lot of energy, but they're still the boss. They don't have to work, you know, that kind of thing. It feels as though it's, it's, it, there's extremes, okay, with this card. There's some extremes. It's like they're, they're being extremely know-it-all, okay? You're dealing with somebody who is very um, unhappy with themselves, okay? You're dealing with somebody who is very... Oh, conceited, you know what I mean? Just really, in ego, ego, that's the best word, into themselves, okay? And it feels, and they're the victim, you know, the whole nine yards. Wah, 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 that's who you're dealing with. And they're lazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am, but this is what I'm seeing. You're dealing with somebody, and I think that you're sitting back right now, you're watching, you're watching, and something is going to happen that... It might um, push you to the point where you can't take it another minute, okay? You can't take it another minute and you blow, okay? You blow. And I, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like you might just, like, blow. And it, it's really needed. It's really needed because it brings growth to everybody involved, okay? It really does. So, and yeah, that's you thinking about it, thinking about this, about, you know, this has been going on. This isn't like it's a new situation. I think that you've been sitting back watching something. And whether this isn't a love relationship or at work, this could be both. I'm still going to label it as love because this is a love segment. But I feel like there's been something going on and you've been sitting back watching somebody get credit for doing nothing. You know, total like bullshit. And something happens that... Um, You've been reluctant. You've been reluctant to say anything, but it, it comes to, you can't hold back anymore. I can't. I just can't hold back. This is the two of swords reversed. I have to say something. I can't sit here with the blindfold on another minute. I can't. It's over. I got to say something. Somebody's going to get in trouble or hurt. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's like, you know what? No. <laughs> I can't sit back and watch anymore. I can't. I have to remove this drama from my life, the situation. It's time to release. It's time to release this bullshit. Whew. Yeah, it's the release. I'm releasing because I know that it's time. I know. Somebody had a hidden agenda and you knew it. I knew it. My intuition has been telling me. I'm seeing this situation completely clearly now. And that's you. I see this clearly. I can't sit back and watch another minute. So I feel like you guys are about to 
to reveal the truth of a situ of somebody who is a uh, complete SOB. All right. So I feel like uh, there's no long, there's no more preparing for it. It's like I can't. I'm not even going to prepare for this. So you've prepared long enough. I think that <coughs> now you you can't hold back anymore. It's like you know what? I have to. I have to move forward. I have to move forward here. I can't just sit back and wait. Something has to happen. So I feel like you guys are going to take action because um, somebody else wasn't. You know, nothing was changing. Nobody was seeing what you were offering. Nobody was seeing what you were offering because somebody else was getting all the credit. You know, you weren't getting credit for what you were doing. Whatever, Whether this is in a relationship at home or a relationship at work, it feels as though... You weren't getting the credit that you deserve and somebody was was taking all the credit and I think there's going to be some kind of blow up where the shit hits the fan and, you know, it forces some sort of growth, whether it's in the job or in your or in your romantic life, okay, because this is growth. This is romantic growth. It's the Knight of Cups. It's romance, romantic growth. So I think that that or it could be, you know emotional growth whatever so anyway it appears to me that there's something that is going to happen that is going to bring you growth whether it's in your job or it's in your relationship it may be a little uh intense at the time okay it may be a little uh well what's the word verbal of course it's going to be verbal it's going to it's going to be trying to think of the right word disruptive put it that way it is going to be disruptive but it's a good kind of disruptive because whatever is happening is forcing some sort of growth whether it's in your relationship or in your job there's some sort of growth that is going to come out of this okay and that's exactly what's happening here anyway. You guys are growing at a very rapid, rapid rate. So this is something that has to happen so that you can grow even more. Whatever this drama is in your life that needs to be dealt with, it needs to be dealt with. It needs to be. So that you can, so that you can evolve, so that you can ascend, so that you can grow spiritually. There's something in your life right now that needs to be dealt with. And it's reality check time. It's time to, for a reality check. Somebody's about to get a reality check. And it could be in the form of a boot. So just letting you know. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. And that's what's happening here, whether you see it or not. It's all part of the journey. You have to get down to the bottom of this situation that has been stalling your growth. Talk to you later, Sagittarius.